this FESDA service module where, as you've heard, they're having some comm issues but are hearing the uh, calls from the ground team. They'll be taking uh, digital photos throughout this entire maneuver. We'll be using digital cameras with 400 millimeter and 800 millimeter lenses to photograph Discovery's upper and bottom surfaces. Discovery in place uh, just about 600 feet below the International Space Station. The two vehicles uh, just off the west coast of South America. In the view now, you can just see as the uh, two vehicles are passing over uh, the coast of Lima, Peru. Good view as Discovery uh, rotating and the underside uh, coming into view. And uh, Fink and Magnus uh, poised with their cameras. They will actually wait for the call for photos to start. And they will uh, ultimately take several hundred photos in a uh, well choreographed pattern ensuring they get all of the uh, surface areas and those photos will be later downlinked for analysis by engineers on the ground. Alpha Discovery, start photos. Alpha Houston, start photos. That the call, of course, to commence with the photography. The two uh, astronauts will take as many as 300 digital pictures of the shuttle's heat shield. Again, using two different cameras, a 400 millimeter and 800 millimeter lenses that are able to uh, provide resolution up to three inches and one inch, respectively. The photography is one of several techniques used to inspect the shuttle's thermal protection system for possible damage. Alpha Discovery in photos. Alpha Houston in photos.
This is a view from the International Space Station, again looking down at Space Shuttle Discovery uh, towards the tail end of that rendezvous pitch maneuver, the open payload bay doors in view. The orbiter about 600 feet below the International Space Station. They'll uh, realign that on the R bar and then uh, be poised for the Torva maneuver. Position the orbiter in front of the International Space Station and for its final approach phase and docking.